Hi ladies, hi gents, hope you're well. Okay, so I'm back to show you the last two stockings that I made. So as you can see, the plain back, I have added a tiny bit of lace here and braid trim on the back. I've got the same uh, lace and braid trim at the top on the front. I covered the whole thing in this beautiful fabric. And I think this fabric was from Nadine. Hi Nadine. And on this one I've got the this image of vintage lady and I cut it into a square and then just added trims around it to frame it so different pieces of trims around it. I'm so sorry, my voice is going uh, to frame it. There's a collar piece, some little trims. And then down here, I've just added, layered up some flowers here and here. And then I've just added this little cute bow with the pearl dangle. This flower centre was cut off an applique actually, this one. So I'm really happy how that one turned out. Uh, and then the last one. I have put a few dangles on this one, uh, three different dangles and then a braid trim which is carried round to the back and then also onto the front and this one I covered with the lace fabric all over the front and I trimmed that in a braid trim as well all along the edges which I did on the other one too sorry I didn't mention that and then on this one I took the uh, vintage lady image but I put it into an oval and then I just cut bits of lace to frame the oval and then up here I've got an applique and then I layered this flower up with one of the tiny crochet mirrors in the centre and then down here I've got another applique and again I've layered up a flower with the crochet mirror in the center and then I added one of these little beaded appliques that I love from Craft Supplies for you. <coughs> Sorry, excuse me. So hopefully these will um, go down well but we'll see. So that's the last two stockings that I did. Let me just move these out of the way. And then I had um, I had this sign uh, that I got in the pound shop, and it had wording on the front, but it's just a, a very uh, lightweight wood, and it's in a tag shape. And I decided to alter this, so I gave it all a coat of gesso on the front to cover over the wording, and then I used some of the Stamperia papers, you know the the unicorn ones, they are just gorgeous. I've put the pad away so I can't even show you it. But it's the one with all the beautiful unicorn images, absolutely gorgeous. So I layered the paper onto it and it was cut like three wood pieces. So I I um, made sure that the indents showed so that it still looks like it's made up of three pieces. You can just probably just see that like that. See there's one, two. Um, and down here I've just added the word sparkle and a butterfly. I do love this this paper. I did glimmer miss, miss the paper because I wanted to give it that real mystical feel. <laughs> Um, so up here I've got some chipboard pieces, um, like a frame, some vines, some little bits, all, all going in different directions. And there's also a chipboard piece that says, always follow your dreams. Yeah, always fo follow your dreams. And then I just layered up flowers, different flowers, little sprays, roses, um, this piece from market in 49, this flower's from there, this is a wild orchid crafts, wild orchid crafts tulips, 
uh, a, a wire piece and then some chipboard butterflies up here. I'll just show you that in more detail. And then on this side, uh, again, <coughs> another cluster of flowers, a uh, mixture of wild orchid crafts, metal pieces, uh, the 49er market, and then some more butterflies. I really wanted to keep it quite mystical. There's a couple of leaves peeping out here and there. Look, lots of little chipboard pieces as well. But I really love how this turned out. I really do. So I'll just show you that so you can see it. So this will uh, go to the art show as well um, with me. So that's my last piece ready for the art show. Um, just hoping I get over this cold. <laughs> so I've got a week <coughs> to let this cold run its course and uh, get, get it out of my system. <laughs> uh, I do have a Santa sleigh that, quite a big one, that I bought for the house, um, but it's, I put it in front of the camera, it's way too big for me to be able to film it, um, but it was a flat pack MDF sleigh from Hobbycraft, so for any of you in the UK, I got the large, um, and it's, oh, it's a really good size. Um, and that was £12, but they had an extra large, which is £25. But if you're looking for a sleigh for your Christmas decor, um, then Hobbycraft have them. And they are just gorgeous. They come in plain MDF, and you alter them yourselves. I'm just going to get it and just show you what I can of it. I have already uh, painted mine up. <laughs> And you'll see how <laughs> how big it is. <laughs> so that's my arm, really stretched out, and I can't even show you it all. So, uh, so it is an MDF sleigh made up of four pieces, two sides, a bottom, and the back. Um, So it is a good size and this is a £12 one so if you can imagine the £25 one is about double the size of this so it's a good size. I mean I can't even get to my measuring tape from here right now. Um, so I distress I painted mine white and then distressed it um, because I want to keep it quite plain to, so that if I change my Christmas decor I can I don't have to keep changing this, I can just add things to it. I have also covered the seat in a white faux fur here. Because um, if any of you know, I have so many Santas and I, I wanted a sleigh for my Santa or one of my Santas. I'm just going to turn it around a bit more. This is the back of it. Um, and I was thinking about hanging um, jingle bells um, down here. It is really hard to show you. <laughs> um, I'm just trying to see. I'm zoomed out as far as I can go. And I can't even lift my camera up because I've set it already for. But you get the idea. It's a really good size for... £12. Um, and what, um, I think I, I think I put a picture of it on Facebook I can't, uh, last week, but I can't remember. <laughs> but I mean, I haven't got my Christmas decorations up, but I just wanted to get this and get it painted ready for in a couple of weeks when I put the decorations up. Um, but I did want to let everyone in the UK know that uh, Hobbycraft have these because I have been, I looked for one last year and 
I couldn't find one at a reasonable price, but £12 for this was was fantastic, absolutely fantastic. So if you are looking for a sleigh, head down to Hobbycraft. I did really want to buy the big one, but we don't have a very big house or anything, and Hubby convinced me that it would take up too much room, and actually he was right. So I went for the smaller of the two, but I'm really happy with the size of this. So, you know, it is still quite big. Um, and I have a couple of different Santas that would fit in this perfectly with some presents behind him. So I'm glad I went for this size. So um, I probably won't be back for a couple of weeks because I've got the art show next week. And then the following week is my mum's 70th. Um, so I'm not sure whether I'll get any crafting done, but a number of people have asked me to do take some pictures at the art show. I plan to, um, <clears throat> as long as it everything goes all right, then yes, I plan to take a camera, take some pictures, and hopefully share them with you all. So um, I will be back soon, and um, I hope you're well, and I will speak to you all soon. Bye for now.